Hi there, my name is Eric and I play bass and today we are checking out the Dingwall 35th anniversary pedal made in collaboration with Dark Glass Electronics. So before we get started with this video, uh, first a huge thank you to my dear friend Robert Thor. Uh, I'll have links to his Instagram account and his YouTube page as well down here in the description. He was also kind to lend me his uh, pedal as UPS managed to first send my unit to Barcelona and uh, now they haven't delivered it yet. So um, a few people have been bugging me about, hey Eric, when's your demo coming? We're excited about it. And uh, uh, yeah, so um, no thanks to UPS. Huge thanks to Robert Thor for helping me out. Huge thank you to Dark Glass and Dingwall as well for sending me a, a pedal. And I'm looking forward to seeing what number I'm getting. Because these are limited to 600 uh, units. I think we get like 250 units in Europe and the rest are in North America. And why not? I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, um, I actually tried out this pedal uh, in the Hellboy bass when that bass was uh, announced and released and presented at Guitar Summit back in 2019 before the world closed down and all of that um, and I think I got to see the prototype or if it was a mock-up I can't remember I remember Sheldon actually showing me and my buddy Ivan Caranza uh, what it looked like and you know hey here's the circuit of the Hellboy base in a pedal. So that's very cool. So with all this being said and done, you know, full disclaimer that Dark Glass are sending me a copy of this pedal. However, not getting paid to say anything nice about it. And let's get started with this video. I'm gonna start off with using my Fender Precision. Here's what it sounds like straight into my SSL 2 Plus. No post processing. Uh, I've got a Pretty extensive signal chain going here, but everything is bypassed right now. I'm gonna engage the other pedals as we move along with this video. But here's what the bass sounds like straight into the DAW. So there is that. Let's kick on the pedal that you've been waiting for me to kick on. So everything is at 12 o'clock now. Let's uh, bump up. There we go. So as this unit is in mine, I can't put Velcro on it, which I was intending to do. So that's why it's going to move around a bit. Sorry about that. Um, anyways, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
have it <laughs> just me playing with a drive and a tone knob there um internally there is a blend set for 12 o'clock so you get equal amounts of uh, distortion and clean tone so that you don't lose the you know the fundament that you need which dark glass have been doing for um years and years now um and other brands as well of course i remember i think it was rob who when he talked about the, this preempt or this circuit in his base, that he said that it started out as a misunderstanding when he was doing the specs for his Hellboy base, he wrote uh, or said like dark glass preamp or dark glass something in in the base, and it was mis- misinterpreted as a drive circuit for the base, uh, which was not what he intended. He wanted a tone capsule, but this turned out so uh, cool. He thought and. Um, here we are. Uh, what is it? Four years later, and I'm trying it out for myself. So that's that's neat. Um, little story for you there. Um, <laughs> so, as far as I can remember, uh, Rob uh, talked about using this one uh, in conjunction with other pedals, and you know, stacking uh, distortion circuits and using this as a boost in the bass. You can, of course, use this as your main drive and distortion tone. It works pretty nicely for that it's pretty reminiscent of the b3k uh, a more bare bones version of that if i may say so myself it's like between the b1k and the b3k v2 i'd say in my humble opinion um so i'm gonna let's let's go back to more uh, modest setting here let's see something like something like that and So I'm going to engage the Darkless Hyperluminal and the Element now. I think I've got the vintage Ampeg 810 loaded up in the Element. Uh, and I've got the Hyperluminal set for the FET mode. So now with a bit of compression and uh, some cab sim and noise gate. Did you hear that? The hiss just went away. The hiss that was there for like two seconds. Anyways, here's what it sounds like now. <laughs> So now we got a <laughs> decent bass tone, you know, bring bring up the pick and uh... There you go. <laughs> Sorry about the... And you know, bring out the pick and you've got a decent bass tone there. Nice. Pretty. I mean, 
mean, that's a base tone. That's cool. Um, I'm going to bypass it now and engage the B7K that I've got going here. So we are now running a B7K into the hyperluminal into the element, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So there's a bit of bite, but not too much, just a tad, if you will. Set for a pretty moderate right now. Let's crank it a wee bit and do something like so. Neat. So I'm gonna actually stack one more <laughs> distortion thingy in this um, equation. I'm, I'm gonna add the castellator albatross now. I'm gonna dial back the drive a bit, I think. And um, so here's with the f uh, castellator albatross fuss uh, without the inversor pedal. <laughs> They stack up pretty nicely, I must say. I'm gonna change bass now, as this is a Dingwall anniversary pedal. I'm gonna bring out my old Dingwall. Stay tuned. Okay, so the rig without the anniversary pedal sounds like this. Let's kick it on. said some fuss as well. Well, there you go. Gonna bypass the B7K and everything now. So here's with my uh, Dingwall combustion with uh, the Urban pickups, custom pickup in the middle here. All three pickups, um, all in series, I think. 
Uh, here's what this pedal sounds like. Just just the bass into the DAW, nothing else. <laughs> And let's kick on the boys again. I mean, trying this setup out with the anniversary pedal going into the B7K, into the Hyperluminal, into the Element with the Jingle Bass, I can really see why Rob didn't change his mind and go, you know, no, I want the Tone Capsule instead. Uh, because this is a pretty cool way of stacking uh, distortion circuits, I must say. So there you have it, that's the Dingwall 35th anniversary pedal made in collaboration with Darkless Electronics. Once again, huge thank you to Robert Thor for hooking me up and helping me out in my time of need. Links to his Instagram account and his YouTube channel down here in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. My name is Eric and I play bass and I'll see you guys and gals and cats and dogs in the next video. Until next time, take care. Bye.